Hi everyone, welcome back to Messy and Beautiful. I'm Sarah Jane, thanks for joining me today for another video. Um, I'm going to be doing d stash table and table gifts from the Southwest Planner Club meet. If you haven't seen my review video, do go and watch it if you're a bit more interested in the event itself. Um, I'm going to start with the d stash table because I'm a bit more excited about the table gifts because I know what I got from the d stash table. Um, but I got loads. Loads and loads. I'm just going to move those out of the way. Um, right. So someone put a whole bag of vinyl on the table. I was going to take the whole bag and then I thought, no, I'll leave some for other people. But there was loads left. Um, so I don't know if anybody else took any. But I just took some grey vinyl because I thought that it was a nice colour. Um, and I am going to use it at some point. I don't know what for. But, you know, you see these things and you go, yes, please. Thanks very much. Then I got, I'm going to empty the bag and do the bag next to me. So there were two d sash tables, basically. There was one that was stuff and there was one that was washi tape. And you could just go on and take washi tape samples, um, which I thought was a really good idea because most people or a lot of people in the planner community, I won't say most because that's not fair, um, have quite a stash of washi tape already. So to get a like, uh, little sample of stuff is a good idea because you like... I, barely going to use a whole roll of washi tape most of my washi tape will probably go bad by the time I get to use all of it um but anyway so I got a few samples I got like a little rainbow I got a couple of these actually I got a I did a little card for Holly and I picked her some stuff up from the d-stash table as well but I'm not going to show you that because I've already given it to her but it was like some Winnie the Pooh stickers and some unicorn stuff some little pig stickers some like glittery ones that she's already used all of like but look at that isn't that cool like a marble effect rainbow so I got her some of that washi tape and I got her some that had like unicorns on it, some that had little birds. Um, and there was a tickled pink Disney princess one um, that I gave to her as well because <clears throat> I thought she would love it and she was really excited by the princesses. Her favourite thing was the sparkly stickers though. And then I got a sample of this one, which I love. Look at this. Like blue and floral. The only thing about samples is when you have one that you really, really love and you use all the time and when you run out of it, you get a bit disappointed. But there's plenty of other washi tape in the world. And then I got green stars because green's my favourite. And stars, of course. Scribbles by Starlight, if you don't know my shop. <laughs> so there we go. It's like a real vibrant green as well. I hope it's showing up on camera. Um is that i might be a bit more low energy in this video because this is the third one i've filmed tonight it's getting very very late it's like gone 11 o'clock so i'm starting to run out of energy but i also really want to open everything because i'm really excited um and then i got this one it ripped halfway through so i was like actually that's probably enough for me so i've got a little sample of this one that just says love with like little string hearts on it like string wordy like you know like pen wiggle type things you know what i mean words in there somewhere i could probably just tear the end off couldn't i because actually i'm not going to use that piece am i let's be honest all right now it's stuck to me and i can't get it in the bin then i got have i got any more washi tapes yet so there were a couple from oh, dropping stuff uh there was one from shine sticker studio on the card that i got holly that had the disney princess stuff on it so i stole it before i gave it to her but i did fill it up with something else so that she didn't have a gap on the card but it just says celebrate today and it's got little luna on it and because it's Shine Sticker Studio, they're one of my shops at the moment. So I thought I'll have that because I haven't got any of hers, I don't think. I don't think I've got any washi tape by her. <clears throat> then I got a couple of samples from Bujo Colt. These aren't very sticky, so I think that's the reason they ended up on the table. But I thought they were really cool. I really like them. I didn't buy these washi tapes from Bujo Colt because I was like, actually, I'm sure she had them on her table because I love little stuff, I think it's beautiful. And there's a white version of the same one. Um, but I was trying very hard not to buy washi tape while I was there because I knew I just, I don't need any more. Um, because I've also got my Coffee Monsters Co like subscription and all of that stuff. Right, have I got any more washi cards? I'm pretty sure there's another one, but I can't. Oh, there's another couple of samples, there we go. So, oh, that's the card I did for Holly. I haven't given her it yet. There was this like greeny coloured one, which might have been the same as the, it might have been in the gift bags because I got a pink one that was similar. I can't find the end now. <clears throat> I got a pink one that was similar in my like 
SWPC goodie bag. So it might be, oh, I've just seen something else that I've forgotten to pack away, never mind. From that haul video that went on and on and on. And there's like green and cute and bubbly. So I really like that one. And then this is the one I'm going to give to Holly. So I'm not going to sit and unroll it all, but you get the idea. So it's purple, it's birds, it's unicorn and rainbows and cherries and stuff. And it says rainbow, please. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> um oh did i give her this maybe i did two maybe i did one for me and one for her but i'll check either way i will check um any more washi cards oh no there you go so there's a sample of that one too that one ran out i think i think i got the end of that roll um there's all sorts in here some one of the things i don't even know what it is it's in a sealed packet well there was a little cat washi tape as well that said meow on it that i thought was cute Oh, and this one. So, oh, more of the rainbow -y type one. Because um, I was like, I love this so much. I'm just going to get another piece. And then I got a mermaid scale one because I'm also obsessed with mermaids, apparently, that I did not even know I was obsessed with until I did my June setup. And then I was like, oh, my God, I do actually have a really lot of mermaid stuff. And this one's like blue and celestial, and it goes that way. I just thought it was really cool, really different. Right, so I've got some of that one as well. And I really like that I now don't have entire rolls of this stuff. I've got enough to do a couple of pages and then move on. Um, I think I'm really getting into the like washi sample card type thing. And I might sell off some of my stash that way. Um, if you are interested, let me know. <laughs> my endless stash of washi tape. Right, then I got some embossing folders. I'm trying to kind of go through this in categories. Um, because someone was clearly a card maker and this is the sort of stuff I don't have much of I think they're the only ones um, and I just thought they'd be fun to give them a go because I've got I think there's another one in there somewhere I can't find at the minute but this one's like um, flower and butterflies and then the cloudy one I just thought I can give them a little go with the new embossing powders that I've got um, as a different way to like use them rather than just the stamping effect um, and like I say all this stuff free on the stash table so it didn't cost me anything to have an experiment if you like um, then I got some like note cards these are Teresa Collins there was 10 of these on the table I split them with Erin or 12 of these on 12 and I split them in half with Erin because we got there at the same time so Erin from Silent Beauty Plans we literally went right what I said to her what have you got and she said oh I really like that one it was stay focused and extra sparkly I was like you can have that one so be the girl who decided to go for it dare to be you dream big make today count yes you can and you are special and they're all A5 but I can chop them down um but I really like the Teresa Collins style, which is really strange considering like my normal style was like every minute a story. But I, there's something about it. I think since I saw her speak at the last Southwest Planner Club meet last year, um, I'm quite obsessed with her. And then this, there was a whole like financial reflections cloth and paper um, pack there, but I didn't need all the pack. And people have kind of raided it and only taken a few sheets of this and that. So this was just kind of one of the sheets hanging around. But I thought I could cut it out and use it. It says money is only a tool. It will take you wherever you wish, but it will not replace you as the driver. Because um, I need that reminder in my life, don't I? Because I spend way too much money. Then somebody put down a small business handbook, like tear off notepad. And it's got to do list reminders, stock to buy, brain dump orders, social media. I thought it would come in handy for me in my like business planning um as like quick notes i can just keep at the side of my desk or whatever when i'm working on my shop then i got some stamps and i was more interested in the balloon stamps than i was the happy birthday like ones um but i thought they look like a brand new set of stamps and i really like the balloons i'm into like hot air balloons at the moment so i could kind of turn those into hot air balloons and stuff in my art journaling so I got to pick those up. Then somebody dumped a load of st stencils on the table. Oh, there's the other embossing folder. So it's like a wood effect type one that I thought could be quite fun. And if they don't work for me, then I'll just de-stash them to somebody else. So I'll maybe take them back to the next event or something. Um, 
then I got some stencils. So, oh, they're not stencils, these are coupling packets. Look at these. Right, so, this is the Crafters Workshop. There's a starry one and there's a bobbly one. Um, and again, just thinking about art journaling, more stars because I'm obsessed with stars. stars. These were cute, little dandelion ones and these have obviously been used but that doesn't bother me at all because i'm probably going to leave them in this state if i'm honest it's like butterflies and grass so whoever the card maker was that put all this stuff down i'm really grateful to you because one person's trash is another person's treasure so they say um i don't know how well these are going to show up actually but there's like a floral one there's like dotty one there's a another floral one and like floral butterfly one and I didn't take all of them I just took the ones that I thought I would really use um I was particularly pleased by the two that were still in the packets because they're like very much my style then there were like some of the like rub on transfer things so it says like flip flops barbecue tanning summertime sunburns definitely me a day at the pool hot 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 like I just thought that they'd be a bit of fun um again scrapbooking art journaling type stuff then i got a load of postcards because somebody was closing a shop um maya did tell me who it was but i can't remember who oh and another washi tape look there you go that's the other bit i did for holly it's like a little purple unicorn cupcake rainbow delight like beautiful really like it <laughs> might keep it <laughs> um because she's already got her stuff and she's well happy so she was really good this weekend as well apparently her dad said she was brilliant um and really helpful and listened a lot and stuff so i was like and i normally buy her something as well but this time i didn't really feel the need to i was like i'll just get some bits from the d stash table because she gets through washi and stickers like there is no tomorrow she's four years old in case you don't know um, so if I gave her a roll of washi tape, that would be gone in about two days. Um, so that's why I get stuff off the D-stash table. When she's bigger and takes her time with things, then it'll be different. But I got a little postcard from the Paper Lobster with the pretending to be organised, because let's face it, that is me. And then, yeah, someone was closing their shop and they had all of these. Storms don't last forever. Follow every rainbow until you find your dreams. So some stickers there. Um, this is the perfect planner company. A goal without a plan is just a wish. If you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. Be kind to yourself. I think I've got that one already. I think I might have this already as well, but the best is yet to come. And then I've got another storms don't last forever. And if you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. Um, then I got a load of stickers. Oh, I got a little rainbow clip. A little rainbow paper clip with a happy little smiley face on it. Very me. Right, should we do stickers next? No, let's do this next. Somebody put this on the table, A6 watercolour paper. It clearly came from Stationery Fest um, because it says on the front, Frisk and Stationery Fest. So somebody doesn't do watercolour and I was like, that in Hobbycraft would cost me about 10 or 12 pounds. So thanks very much, whoever that was. Um, then stickers, so loads of stickers, loads of stickers couple of the slumber party ones well, there was a whole pile of them so i thought i'll take a few more from a memory keeping and then there were tons of like dorky planner girl samplers that's a medication one um i love dorky planner girls i don't have any stickers that planner meat sticker is one of my favorites um and because there was so much of it on the table, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take them. So I took the whole stack and I went through and I went, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. And then I put a load back as well. I didn't take them all like and kept them all. There were tons of Happy Planner sticker books as well, but I missed them, which was a shame. Um, right. Then some headers, priorities, goals, project meeting, task, focus in two different fonts. These are from Purple Planner. Don't know if they're still going, but I thought they were nice. Toffee Bananas some little bow checklists there were these that were like celestial and cute a little sampler thing from silent beauty plans um and there's my i've got a couple of these little teacup ones because i love that sticker 
I love the keep going one as well but this one in particular I think this is the pack that from last year but I love the little girl in the teacup which was the reason I picked the pack up um, and it says happy planner and meet memories as well so that's good some little funny cats from the honeybee shop some crystal vibes from the honeybee shop happy day -er. if you saw my last one you know I'm in love with happy day -er. so I've got a few of those boxes already but I'm trying to thinking about trying to turn it into a like a, a full spread some cute like celestial letters more dorky planner girls this is again the medication one i've got a little vinyl bow that's the grumpy tortoise i got a sampler from sticky samosa don't know if she's still going either but i like the the pastel colors on that one there were loads of bujo cult freebies as well so i again picked them all up took a few took some for kelly gave them to kelly took a few for lisa and then put the rest back um but i just love that my patience that that is me <laughs> i really like the teacup and on this one um i might trim off the eye bit i'm not that keen on that sticker but again i don't have to keep all of this stationary fest 2023 like um freebie which i thought was great i joined a bullet journal cult reading time stickers stacks of books which for me amazing starfish and frog again just super cute like my style i even love the little voodoo doll i like the shelf the shelf's cool sticker sampler from peach and mimi i'm pretty sure that's from the midlands planner meat bag i love this i don't know where this is from but it says be kind to yourself i just i really like that sticker i think it's beautiful there was a Some Little Things sampler, so naturally I nabbed it. There was also a Some Little Things kit, um, and I think Erin got there just before I did, which was a shame, but, you know, can't win them all. There's another vinyl bow. This is Maya's Makery. Um, I've used those quite a few times on various planners. More dorky planner girls. So I've got weather stickers, doing some exercise, mowing the lawn, sick mermaids, mowing the lawn, driving a car, some like thought bubble boxes, some icons. There were a few of those. I put a lot of those back because I thought I'm probably not going to use as many as I think I will. Tablet and stylus, like um, under the weather and then some food shopping ones. There's more of those to come. You'll kind of see a theme. So it's either Bujo Colt or Dorky Planner Girls. Kind of the polar opposite of the two things that I really love. <laughs> um, right, so let's try and gather up the Bujo Colt ones. So there's this one. I love this. Stop procrastinating. Brilliant. Right, sugar Skulls. Name, budget, present idea and present bought. This is a January freebie. I love the cauldron. All the like tarot cards. That matches the washi tape samplers I got. Another one with the My Patience sticker, because let's be honest, I'm going to use it. I like the skull book thing. Oh, this one's shot with an ace. I love her little character drawings. I just think they're so cute. And again, don't own any of her stickers other than what I've got on freebies. Another Bujo Colt. This one is ripped, but I have a feeling that's why it ended up there. But I'm not bothered because I can put a quote or something underneath it to make it work. Then I got some more Dorky Planner Girls. So these are like the slothy type ones, like mixed samplers. <laughs> little Harry Potter one. How cute is that? Oh, look at the little mummy wrapped in toilet paper. Fourth of July. Look at the bunny. So cute. My daughter's got a dress with that on it. That's so cute. Summer ones, the tea bags naturally, and unicorns watching laptops eating popcorn then any more of those kind i don't think so oh no i lie there's more dorky planner girls look at the planners look at those like all the notebooks and planners nope too adulty i'll be in my pillow fort i'm done with being an adult and i can't adult today and i got a few of those some guitars because my husband plays guitar more of the tea bags and some bicycles so it's those 
I've seen this before, so it's not quite as exciting. I've ended up with some that I don't even know how I ended up with, but there's some date night stickers and some day date stickers. I'll probably use those. I'm not sure about them, but I'm going to go through everything at some point anyway. I've got some sterling ink like day covers. Sadly, there isn't a Monday, but there is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And there's two Friday, Saturdays. Oh, there's no Sunday either. Um, but, you know, like I thought, if I'm doing the odd day of journaling here and there, I tend to just use one rather than a full week. Um, what else? This is Dorky Planner Girls. I wasn't sure, but I really like the tea set. So I don't know if I'm going to use the whole thing. I really like the girl with the plait as well. So I might maybe just use one or two and then de-stash the rest. But we'll see. I've had this before, BS Illustration Creations. Holly loved this sheet of stickers. Um... I ended up picking her one up at the Midlands meet for another, or no, Palantines, at Palantines as part of her present. And then I saw this and I was like, do you know what? I love it too, so I'm going to get another one. Um, I got a little sticker that says Daisy Me Rolling from Oopsie Daisy, which I thought was quite cool. Made me giggle. I got another little sampler from Moonlit Journaling because it's my style. I got some bows. These are the Ginger Cat Co. And I just love the blue foil very pretty um i'm running out of stuff so i didn't get as much from the d stash table this time as i thought but i think that's because i was an attendee just an attendee at previous events whereas this time i had my shop so i didn't have as much time to look through um but i got these color gradient like tab stickers i've got a few of these in different colors so i've got two orange ones oh no three orange ones a like tealy colour and a bluey colour and again just because of the nature of the stalogy it doesn't come with anything like this so I thought that would keep me going for a little while um, and I've also got a sterling ink planner to set up too then I got some little koala stickers because I'm obsessed with koalas at the moment my little list youngest daughter's nursery is koalas in case you're wondering then I got these because I thought they were cool. I'm grateful for shopping list, books to read, urgent. My victories, I really liked those to delegate idea and important. I don't really need more header stickers. I just really like the fact that they were foiled as well. I don't really use foiled stickers, so I don't know why. But I got a little sampler. This was from Amy. She was handing them out um, on the day of the event. It should have gone in with my other bag with the like swag we got from the event. But yeah, so that came from Amy at Sateki, which is great and that's her artwork as well I know for a fact that's her artwork I'm pretty sure that's her artwork too because it's a similar style just love her style love it then I got a like mini kit sheet book lover 2.0 planners anonymous tracking planners so this must be planners anonymous like but I was like oh date dots yep yeah, thanks very much like useful to me then I got a Grumpy Tortoise sticker that says, sure, fine, whatever. I got a little packet that I did open up on the day to see what was in it. So I do know what's inside, but it's from Aspire Creative Designs. And it says, warrior, no, warrior, not warrior, boss babe. And I really like this one. Shit happens. So that's that. I don't need that little bag. Um, then I got... A little set of die cuts from Crested Rose Planners that somebody kindly dropped off to. But I probably already have these as well, but it was clouds and I was like, I've got to have it. So let's just do this. I'm going to unpack them anyway. So there's a cloud. It's like a scrunchie. Holly got a scrunchie from a little uh, swimming goodie bag because she's leaving her swimming lessons where she's like too big for them now. Um, she's so happy with her little scrunchie. Little pair of pyjamas, chopsticks in a box, little game controller, something like that. I don't know. And then like a little self care tool, type one. So some of them I'll use, some of them I won't. I wish I'd gone through that on the day actually and put back the ones I didn't, but that's okay. I can get rid of them another time. Then I got, because I know Roxanne was dumping some old shop stock, um, so I picked these up for the Stalogy. And they're like stalogy paper, sticky, and they're little calendars. And I just thought, amazing, thanks very much. Right, so I think you get five in a pack. There's five in that one. I don't know if there's five in the other. I'm not going to open the other one too. Um, but I just thought they'd be really useful. And they're stalogy sized already, which is amazing. 
Then, probably my best thing I got from the D-Stash table was a little set of little twin stars, like paid flags. How cute are they? And a Hello Kitty notebook. How cool is this? It's like a little A5 notebook and it's got really pretty pink paper. I know I'm not a pink girl, but I love the cover. So I don't know who I'm going to butcher it yet or not, or leave it as a notebook, but that is my D-Stash table. Um, right. I've already been going for like 25 minutes. How do I manage it, guys? How do I manage to keep talking? I have been talking for hours. What are we doing next? Table gifts. I've got to do my own shopping yet. Crikey. Right, table gifts. If you're wondering what to do for a table gift... Oh, I missed something. Hold on. And then somebody, if you saw my last video with the, like, swag, I dropped these on the D-stash table that had clearly come out from the swag drop. These are the ones I swapped with Angie for the green ones. And I was like, you're seriously getting rid of those? I was like, if it's not your style, it's mine. Thank you very much. So whoever that was, if you're watching, I'm eternally grateful for the extra one ton in a million washi tape. So, she says, ripping it before I've even started. Look at this. Like, and they're little habit trackers. And then this is the checklist tape. So it's the same. I am going to unroll it later, but I... I'm running out of energy <laughs> it's the checklist tape but in orange so i've got a matching orange one so however much i was like oh yeah i'll swap the orange one for the green one like because andy didn't want the green one and i did but karma came back to me and gave me the orange one as well so isn't that lovely so that's it for the d stash table um i'm just going to move those out of the way piles of stuff so if you're wondering what people do for table gifts i did this because yes, I made myself one. Um, so I wrapped it like this, just with a little bit of tissue paper. And I am going to throw that in the bin. But I made little pen pouches with people's names on them in like hollow vinyl. And then inside I put a little um, like correction tape. Because I tried to think, because I know Helen, who was on our table, isn't really into stickers and stuff. I know she uses, I think she uses a little bit of washi tape, but she's more of a bullet journaler. So I was trying to think about what could please everybody. Then I put in a little thing of washi tape and everyone got a different design. So that's the one that I chose for myself. Little daisy type thing. I picked for other people's first and I just picked from what was left. These Zebra Z Grip pens, um, I love them. I have given these away before, and in fact, I haven't even used that one. And I kept the green one last time, so this time I kept a blue one. Um, but I love this style of pen. I just they're kind of my like every day I need to grab a pen, pen rather than my planner pen, if that makes sense. If you're a planner girl, you know. Then I got these little like rainbow pens. Um, and again, it was just multi packs of stuff that I split down. So, oh, there it is, a little pen test sheet. So it's supposed to write in rainbow colours. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but you can kind of get the idea. It goes blue to green, but it's like a little rainbow gel pen. So I just tried to pick something that was a little bit different that people might not already have, and I've just lost the lid for that. I don't know where I've put it, so that's going to have to live there for now. Then I got some, like, gradient sticky notes and again they were all different colour gradients but it was a multi-pack and I just gave everybody a little packet of sticky notes and then I found these in tiger if you have or flying tiger I don't know what's called anymore I think it might just be called tiger now but either way that fun little shop that's got loads of random stuff in it I love that shop it's one of my favourites and it had like a washi tape it was like a useful washi tape So it says work, notes, ideas, important. And they're like little header strips, which I thought was really cool. And so I gave everybody one of those as well. And if you're interested to know how much these were, I found them for 75p each. So you don't have to spend a lot. I bought one of those each, multi-pack of them, multi-pack of them, multi-pack of them, multi-pack of them. And those I picked up... Mm, I think they were also 75p, the pencil cases, in Morrison's. Um, so they're nothing special, but I just thought by personalising them, and it then gave them somewhere to put all their stuff for the weekend. 
So I tried to think of things that people would actually use, um, like for everybody, like everybody would use, rather than just one or two people. Um, yeah. So if you need some ideas for table gifts, that's the sort of thing that I do, like a little stationery pack. Um, but everybody has different ideas, and it's really interesting. So I'm going to start with Zoe, who shop is Planaberry. Um, oh, actually, Helen gave me this because she won it in the raffle and she wasn't going to use it. So I got a little rainbow, like, make it happen checklist and a little rainbow sticky note thing. And it's pastel rainbow with silver foil and, or, like, hollow silver. And it's just me all over. So I was like, she was like, do you want this? Because I'm not going to use it. I was like, yes, please. Love it. Love, love it. Bless her. She did give away a lot of her bundle because she just didn't, she just wasn't going to use it. Um, right. Then I remember talking to um, the girls from Sparklefish. So I got given the card for the shop. Um, and there's some discount codes on there. There's Lois 10 and Laura 10 that I am allowed to share. Um, so if you wanted 10% off with Sparklefish, then that's where to go. Right, table gifts. I'm getting distracted. I'm going to start with Zoe. So her shop is Planaberry. And if you saw my last one, I don't know where I've put it now. She gave us a little pin of Cuthbert. So if you want to see the pin of Cuthbert. Oh, I can show you a picture of Cuthbert. These were from Zoe. So he came on this little backing card. Beautiful. And he's just a little, and it was a little pin of this. Like, so cute. I just love him. He's adorable. Like, so it was a little pin, little wooden pin. Smaller than that, probably only about that big. Um, on a little backing card, which I thought was really generous of her to give us something from her shop. I wrote those little post-it notes, so I knew who bought me what. There's a little bookmark. This is from her shop when she was Peachy Princess. So before she was Planaberry, she was Peachy Princess. And then we got a little note, like tear-off notepad um, with her character Pip. My character's also Pip, um, <laughs> which is quite funny. But yeah, I just thought really generous. So it's got the date at the top and then you can mark what day of the week it is. And then you could do your little notes on your little tear-off notepad. Um, so that was amazing. That was the first little set of things. And obviously the Cuthbert sticker as well as the Cuthbert pin. So honestly, our table was so generous. I'm sure that a lot of people found this, that everyone was really generous. But then I'm going to do Angie. So Angie gave us a little tin with our names on. Look, how cool is that? And inside, a few sweeties that I am going to put to the side because I've got a little pile of snacks going on. Um, this is from Angie R, because I even labelled it which Angie it was. And then she gave me a little voucher to come and spend with Silent Beauty Plans. So I went and spent that on the day um, so I didn't lose out on my little voucher. Um, but how cool is that? Uh, just brilliant. Love, oh, I just love table gifts because everybody's so original and different and... Yeah, you just get different stuff that you wouldn't buy yourself as well. So this one's from Angie S. I did say that was Angie R, didn't I? Yes, I did. So this one's from Angie S. I'm just knocking stuff over now right, while I'm here. I think I'm going to run out of battery, you know. I don't think I'm going to get be able to do my shop haul tonight. But she's done like a little label, laugh, dance and be merry. To Sarah, love Angie S. Very cute. And it's on a split pin. So I am going to take it out off the split pin because I can use that in my memory keeping. And then she did this little packet of goodies. So there's a nice little backing card. Look at that. And it's green. She has a love green. Oh, yummy. Because right. we all talked about what our favourite colours were as well. So like mine were kind of pink or green or yellow or whatever colour. I, I kind of tried to match to the colours that people liked as far as I could. It was difficult because there wasn't that much pink. Um, but anyway, so she gave us one of these little rainbow crayon things. Like, Holly loves these. It's so cute. Right, so that will be good fun in my art journaling. So you can change the colours up depending on what you want. Then I've got a little sheet. Oh, look. little sheet of cute stickers. Little puffy ones. Oh, baby koala, that's green. Oh, that's so cute. And then are these stamps or stickers? Stickers. So little ice cream stickers. I like the texture of them, actually. They're quite cool. Then there's a little happy scrappy washi card with an ice cream on it. That's cool. I've got this collection, actually. I don't think I've got this one because you've got different ones. Yummy. I, I'm surprised I didn't eat on the day, to be honest. 
And then, ah, oh, some travel scissors. Oh my goodness. Look at these. They actually look really decent as well. Oh, they feel nice. They feel like they're really decent. Oh, they're better than the Erin Condren ones. It's because they're Kikuyo. Oh, wow. Thanks, Angie. Like pastel cookie. I love the colour. They're really pretty. They're amazing. Oh, my God. Like, oh, it's so, so lovely. Everyone's so lovely. Right, and then we've got a little parcel from Rachel. I did eat the chocolates that she gave me when I got home from the event. And she did us a little pack of stationery as well. We've got Paper Mate Ink Joy. Mine's purple. I don't have any ink joys either, so this is cool. Oh, so pretty. What a lovely colour. Little bookmark. <laughs> a little hand on it. That's fun. <laughs> To do, be happy. Oh, little A6 notebook. And then she's done us a little pack of like paper and stickery type things by the looks of things. I did sort of have a look at these on the day, so I did kind of know what's in here, but I didn't go into like any detail of opening up exactly what was in there. Oh my God, there's more in here than I thought. My goodness me. So she's done a <laughs> read. Excellent. Books. Oh, look at these, like vintage style. They're cool. They're very Lisa. <laughs> Bookshelves, like little printouts. That's cool, isn't it? I'm never going to read that many books this year. I might save them until next year. Oh, book bingo. Female lead set in the future, made into a film, a true story, a classic, male author, published this year, set in a fictional down. Cool. That's really clever. And then there's a little note card with loads of banners on it and a washi card as well. This looks like it's Plan Inspire Create, this middle one. It might be, possibly, a paper lobster. Believe in you, when it rains, always look for rainbows. Today will be amazing. Don't let yesterday move, use up much of today. You are enough just as you are. Oh, lovely. And it's like all positive vibes that's so cute oh thank you Rachel that's lovely I keep getting really emotional doing all of these like I just honestly what lovely people I just I found my people you know when you find your people I found my people and then Helen did us a little goodie bag so I got a green paper make ink joy to go with my purple one so I've ended up with green and purple which is amazing because they're my two favorite colors it's like they spoke to each other and knew there was a chocolate in here as well there was a Lindor thing that I ate <laughs> when I got home I stuffed my face with chocolate when I got back inhale exhale little journal cards cute reflect on your accomplishments and acknowledge how far you've come oh that's really sweet and then there's like a floral washi tape. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. And then a, I'm guessing a highlighter. Yeah. And it's like a mini highlighter. Oh, wow. That's really purple as well. I like that. Oh, thanks, Helen. So that's from Helen. So Becca's um, next. So Becca has an Etsy shop and a YouTube channel called Scouse Girl Budgets. Um, and she did us a little packet of goodies. You may have seen her YouTube channel. And if you haven't, go and check it out. I am going to try and start watching it. Um, see if I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> right, so we did us a little goodie bag. She gave us a little lollipop. Some oh, fizzy rainbow belts. Yum. A little cash wallet. I don't use rings. Oh, but I do now have a ring planner. It's personal size, though, isn't it? So it probably won't fit. Hmm. Do I have a cash envelope thingy? I think I might have something I can use. Maybe. I'll think about it. But either way. And then she's done us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. There's a little packet of these stickers. Like the amount of effort people go to just for table gifts. Sarah's planner. Oh, look. 
Oh, they're really nice. I like little die cut card. And then a little pack of, I think, stickers. This is amazing. Cannot believe this. Cannot, cannot believe this. I just feel spoiled by my table mates. So there is um, little cute line drawn flowers. <laughs> cute little puppies. Flower. Oh, look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? I think I'm leaning towards that orange and yellow all of a sudden. Cute little rainbow one. Flowers. Oh, how lovely. Then, I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued. Clouds. I'm obsessed with clouds. <laughs> oh, they're like little die cut cards that have my name on. In all different colours. Look. Oh, how beautiful. That's so thoughtful. And then she's done us little savings things I definitely need. <laughs> it's in my life. Somebody help me start budgeting. I'm really skint. Like really, really, really skint. Save for your next planner meet. Oh, I see. So you tick off what you saved and you can put in how much you want to save and then you tick off when you've saved for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could save 80 quid or 160 pounds, which will probably be my budget for next time. Right. Then this one is a little scratch off savings challenge. This looks cool. Mini scratch off challenge. And you scratch off each one and it will tell you how much to save. That's cool. Oh, thanks, Becca. I love the colours as well. And then this one. She asked us if there was anything we were saving for, and now I understand why. So I'm saving for my trip to Disneyland. And she's done us that little board. Oh, look. Disney holiday clothes savings. Disney holiday savings. And Disney food savings. Look at that. And each icon, you can put in how much you want to save. I love the little Mickey heads. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Isn't that lovely? I definitely need some saving in my life, don't I? Like, oh, thanks, Becca. That's beautiful. And then there is, I, I was so excited about this. Look at this. This is from Lauren at Pintada Designs, who was sitting on our table as well. And she'd done us a little box with our favourite film DVD cover on the front. And I know it's a really stupid thing to get excited about, but I was like, oh my God, that's like my favourite film ever. And I just, I can't believe it. And now I'm like, I never want to get rid of this box. And it's, it, she's literally just stuck a picture to a cardboard box. But I'm so, like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then she did us, like, a little box of snacky goodies. Which, actually, I'm going to put my other snacks in here as well. And she did us for her shop with a 10% off coupon for each of us on her table. And then we've got a little code that we can use. Isn't that amazing? So it's like a Willy Wonka chocolate bar. And Helen very kindly swapped her chocolate bar with me. So I got smooth caramel and she had the plain galaxy because she really wasn't fast and I get so excited by galaxy caramel. So this is going to be my little secret box of snacks that my daughter is not allowed to touch because <laughs> otherwise there won't be any left. But look at that. Isn't that so cool? I'm so grateful. Like, just I'm absolutely blessed by everybody that was sitting on my table. Um, right, I'm surrounded by rubbish now as well. Then, some other people that were particularly kind at the event. Oh, Angie as well at our table also had some tapes that she's given out. Look how cute. How cute is that little girl with the star above her head? And she had three different designs and she was like, oh, just take a load. It's like pet tape. Like some cute little characters with the mermaids and the seahorses and stuff just oh, adorable and then this one 
and she was like just take some because i'm getting rid of them anyway i was like oh thank you like and they're um i think they're the washi tape shop so that's really cool and then right what have we got left in here let's take the last of it out one of them i don't even know what it is Emma from Plan Inspire Create came up to me and went, I found some Hello Kitty stickers and I thought of you. And so she gave me them. Look, there's a little sampler with a Hello Kitty on it oh, from Brithsy Crafts. And then she's given me three little Hello Kitty die cuts. And look, even the traditional, the really traditional Hello Kitty. Like, oh, just so cute. I'm so grateful. I was really, really excited. Um, oh, just uh, people thinking of me is just so lovely I, yeah it's really nice and then Erin was giving these away at the end of the event because she had a few left over <clears throat> and as shop owners she was like oh does anybody want any more of these because you know otherwise they're just going to go to waste and I was like sure why not I'll stick them in our back plan and stick them in my calendar and then Amy from the Techie Stickers came up to me and went I think you need this because it's got no spend on here and she gave me one of her little like debt tracker things like pot one pot two pot three pot four and these are her own stickers um and i just thought it was really funny she was like you need the no spend <laughs> really made me laugh like made me laugh too much and then she gave me one of her sticky grab bags as well from her shop um i spent quite a bit with amy i'm not gonna lie when i went to visit her stall but she gave me a grab bag for free like, oh look at those they're pretty oh <gasps> cute I had no idea what was in here. Oh, look at them. They're gorgeous. I really like these sticky club stickers. Oh. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Oh, look. I really like that. That is so my style, isn't it? Like, how sweet is that? And she was just like, here you go. I was like, thanks. Like, I'm never going to say no to free stuff, am I? Like, so that is my table gifts and d stashy table um i'm just going to do this and try and sort of shove things out the way <laughs> um yeah so like, eternally grateful look how much free stuff like and i know like because I, I bought for people as well you've seen what i bought for people but like you just the amount you come away with because you buy like uh, you buy one thing and then do it five times or six times or seven times however many people at your table but then of course you get presents back as well and there's never any obligation on people to get anything but just the generosity the generosity is unbelievable um but yeah anyway thank you very much for joining me for this one come back and see my shopping one because it's going to be another epic haul and then i think I'm either, I'm probably going to have to set on my planners and then after that I think it's going to be shed clear up time because my goodness me, I cannot move for stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button down below. Come back and see me again. I would love to have you back. Thanks very much for joining me everyone. Take care. Bye.